look at another example, um, one that might take a little bit more work than the, the previous ones we did. Now, for this one, let's tackle the, the indefinite integral first, and then we'll, we'll worry about dealing with the limits. And uh, the reason we want to do that is that we actually need to do integration by parts to handle this one. So remember, any time that you see a log function and you're trying integration by parts, it's a, usually a good idea to let u be the log function. Okay. Um, so then du is 1 over x dx, right? So that gets rid of the logarithm, which is one of the reasons why we kind of like to do it this way. Um, dv then is 1 over x squared times dx. And integrating, that means that v needs to be minus 1 over x. Okay. So we get minus 1 over x log x. Okay. Um, minus the integral of v, so minus 1 over x times du. 1 over x dx. So what we're going to get is minus 1 over x log x, okay? And then, well, that's going to be minus, well, plus, minus minus comes plus, that's 1 over x squared. We get minus 1 over x for the antiderivative of that, right? Plus our constant if we want, but, you know, we, we don't really need the constant for, the, for this because we're, we're doing the in, improper integral. So we come back up to here and we say, all right, so this improper integral should be the limit as b goes to infinity of minus 1 over x log x minus 1 over x evaluated from 1 to b. Okay, so that's going to look like the limit. Um, b going to infinity of minus log b over b minus 1 over b and then minus so that's going to be minus 1 log of 1 is 0 and then that's just going to be minus 1 okay all right so we know what happens to 1 over b is b goes to infinity. That's going to go to 0. That's just 1. Um, for this one here, well, that's an infinity over infinity limit, right? Um, now, if you, if you have this intuition that the logarithm function grows much more slowly than any power function, you probably know that this limit should be 0. Um, but if we want to nail it down, we should do Lupitel's rule, right? That's why we just did all that work on understanding L'Hopital's rule. We say, hey, this is an infinity over infinity limit. So let's apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay. So it's going to be, let's deal with the parts that we can already deal with. We have 1 minus 0, and then we're going to have the limit b going to infinity, right? And this is via L'Hopital's rule. So when you take the derivative of log b, we get 1 over b, the derivative of b is just 1, and of course as b goes to infinity, that goes to 0, so we get an overall value of 1. 